just to brief here, uh, I little bit I'll touch upon socks here. So basically, socks was meant. He it was designed by U.S. Congress uh, in order to take care of all the frauds that were happening in the financial data in different companies. So that's where Sarbanes Oxley Act came into play. Sarbanes Oxley Act primarily focuses to make sure that all the you know internal controls that are implemented in order to ensure that the financial data which is coming out on the financial books is accurate or not. So in order to ensure the integrity of the financial data that is that processed by all the companies, SOX came into play. So this is where the focus of SOX lies on. Okay, it it basically lies on internal controls reporting where it it basically ensures that all the internal controls that any organization has implemented, whether they are working fine or not, can an auditor verify that? Can a third party auditor again verify that? So a lot of uh, compliance restrictions are there. We'll probably, you know, have another video on SOX separately. But SOX's main focus is to ensure that there is no financial fraud. Okay, just for your understanding. Yeah. So yes, just to add up on this. So what essentially uh, you, you are very right about this, and I wanted you to explain uh, SOX more in detail. Uh, essentially, everybody, uh, any organization has to have, uh, like you said, that the financial data, uh, the the data security, uh, confidentiality. And the security aspects of it get covered in SOX, and SOX has a lot of uh, checks, implementations on the governance of controls as well. So, in order, in 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 line with the SOX expectation from a user uh, entity, you have what you are calling as a SOX one. So, what what I am essentially saying is that you know the controls or whatever SOC one I have are actually implementing this, and whatever internal controls you have mentioned. So, I I keep on saying this: the user entity's internal control over the financial reporting is basically uh, the the bank in itself is following SOCs, and they are expecting you to have SOC one, which is kind of in line with their internal control, which is governed by something. Uh, apart from other standards like socks i just hope make, right. yeah yeah absolutely just to make one thing more clear for uh, mahe here uh, mahe there is a understanding here the sock 1 type 2 report actually directly complies with sarbanes oxley section 404 okay in terms of compliance so akshay is very well right there there is a direct mapping here okay so these are related it's not like they're not related at all but the focus is different you know sock 1 focus is different sock 2 focus yeah, is, is more for yeah. your user entity and sock is more for the service provider sir the service Absolutely. organization yeah very well very well